I once built a set out my back garden. I once built a set out my back garden. Ignore that. What are we trying to do? I once built a set out my back garden. I've been working on this piece. Not too sure where it's headed. We're looking at it. It's just a cup. I'm trying to come to terms with it. They must be talking about something. I feel confused. I'm looking to look, to look at something. This is the piece I was telling you about. Go on. Keep watching. This is how I make my tea.
the tea is bad, I throw it away. All this time it's just been about a cup of tea. This is the piece I was telling you about. All this time it's just been about a cup of tea. I can never seem to finish one. Help me to finish this off. I'm not sure where this should end. This is a set I built out my back garden to pretend to buy tea in. But I could never fully afford to fully stock the shelves. It's still a work in progress. I'm not sure where this should end. So I stay in the shower an extra 10 minutes. It's still a work in progress. He had come across a particularly rare DVD which he was hoping she would watch with him later that night, providing that dinner went well. Well, I hope I didn't forget anything. Is that horror? Oh, it's too early. Oh, I had a car and I thought it was on. It had been two weeks since I'd seen the milk lady. I was really anticipating seeing her again. He'd become extremely particular about how things would be set and how things would be prepared. He liked to play with the vegetables and the ingredients of the dinner before actually preparing them, laying out their colours and how they would look on a plate. I wanted to make sure everything was perfect. So I did my best. She'd become an important part of his life, providing him with milk for his tea and his breakfast cereal, which he truly loved. And not to mention, 
calcium for his bones. The milk lady makes her deliveries in a light blue truck, one of the old style with the open backs. She still delivers the milk in glass bottles, and that in particular is what he really likes about her. I was in the car on my way to a relative's and I came across something that I didn't expect to see. When I seen this film, I finally found a voice in a language. 
After some time, I couldn't be sure if it had been real. The film or the book. And then I was on my way and... We were driving past and then I seen it. But what film are you talking about? I couldn't really believe it at first. I just couldn't believe it. It was right there. On the side of the road. Just as it was in the film. I spent quite some time looking for it on DVD. I thought it would be really accessible considering it was a film. I thought I could get it in HMV. So I went into HMV and I asked. And he didn't really know who I was talking about. No one did. Trading golden discs. Still the same. No one seemed to know what I was talking about. No one really knew what it was I was looking for. This really upset me because I felt it was someone that people should know about. I'm looking for what you mentioned on the side of the road, but I can't really see what you're talking about. What always seemed to frighten me or captivate me about the film was it followed him. It followed him everywhere, even when he hid in his house. I always thought it was a joke, but... When I started looking for the DVD, it's as if it kind of took over my life to the point where I ended up in the hospital and all I could think of was I could just think of finding that DVD After it collapsed and I was brought to hospital, I spent a few days there and it gave me time to think. I was anxious on whether or not I wanted to continue with my quest to find the DVD. Doubts had begun to arise about would it be as good as I had hoped? Would it amount to everything I wanted it to be? At this point, part of me wanted to find it, part of me did not. Like a divorced couple, I decided to keep looking for the kids' sake. I was running around in circles, quite literally. I was anxious. I felt today would be the day I would find it. After eating the rashers, I had left the rest of my breakfast out for later. I set out to find a DVD amongst the many shops New York had to offer.
you look closely enough, you can see me walking up Fifth Avenue beside the Empire State Building. New York proved to be a little harder to find what I was looking for considering people really couldn't understand my accent and that kind of really made it more difficult than it should have been. After searching almost every shop that sold DVDs, it was time to check online. I found it on eBay almost immediately. There was no bidding. Just click to buy now. £102 a cost, including postage and packaging. You have no idea how disappointed I was. It was from here that I first saw it. We projected it, but... I felt terrible with what I had done. I wanted to contact John in some way and tell him I'm sorry. And try and explain myself and my actions. I had debated and argued with myself, pacing up and down the stairs. It was a DVD, should have been in the cinema, not beside a treadmill and a sorry collection of DVDs. What I didn't realise was that confronted with what I had done, there was no possible way I could watch it. A DVD of a film 